Let's jump over to the professional as I've already configured a project with a couple of those examples. Look at our Carter's Pennington home and we can see my item 17 I've created as a very generic design services for April. So I'm going to be joining all of my billable events to this single item. And on the invoice, it'll list the total amount that I'm charging the carters for that. But I'll also have the ability to show them the detail of those charges if desired. A second method is a little bit more uh, break out some of the services. So rather than just design services, I could use a method where I want to show my administration for April, project management for April, CAD, etc. So I'd have an item for each of these events in April with, again, all of those appropriate time billing entries joined to them. So you can get very creative and very flexible in Design Manager's employee timekeeping system. So how would I go about creating one of these bucket items? Let's jump back to Design Manager to see. In our project and specifications, Let's go down to the Carter's Brigantine Beach Home. Say I want to make a design services for May. I would simply click our new item. I would type in something such as design services for May. Being very creative. I'm then going to click the time budget option. And upon doing so, notice immediately my time and sales category are automatically filled in. Well, those are actually coming from the project itself on our defaults, advanced, time option. I can create a location and sales category that I always want to be defaulted or automatically used for all of my time entries for that project. One, it keeps all of my time entries uh, in the appropriate location on the invoice to the client. And with the sales category, it ensures that um, the users of Design Manager are putting uh, or selecting the appropriate sales category for their time entries so it looks proper on my income statement. I don't want them to uh, improperly select for perhaps furniture or window treatments as their um, sales category, which would skew my financials. And I could further ensure that by selecting the only allow entries to be joined items with the default sales category so that if they selected an item off of the project that did not have a sales category of professional services, they'd be warned and blocked. Again, ensuring that my financials are the way I want. 